Euglena are mentioned in most textbooks and laboratory manuals, meaning that at some point you're going to be dealing with Euglena. What makes Euglena so, so unique is that no one's really sure where they belong. Scientists, biologists sometimes put them in with the heterotroph protists and sometimes with the autotroph protists. In reality, they can be either autotrophs or heterotrophs, depending on what the conditions are like. If light is not available for a long enough period of time, they eventually will lose their green color as the chloroplasts break down and become strictly a heterotroph. The cultures you get from Flynn will be nice and green. The great thing about Euglena is they are floating everywhere in the culture container. So you can actually just simply stir and take a sample. Put a couple drops on your well slide. No cover slip is necessary as that blocks oxygen. And look into the culture. Now from here it depends on what you want to do with the culture itself. If you want them to study the internal organs of the euglena, you're going to want to use a drop of methylcellulose solution or glycerin, preferably methylcellulose, to slow them down. Glycerin can affect their, their longevity and they may die quickly uh, with glycerin. So you're going to view the euglena as they swim around. The students should be able to see the flagella, they should be able to see the internal organs, and they should be able to see that the euglena are green in color. Euglena are found everywhere on Earth, and they are one of the most interesting microorganisms that you will use in your classroom.